It doesn't. It's not successful. Now, x cannot be negative. How am I going to make it positive? Change the, not the order, but the color. So if you change the color on one side, you should change the color on the other side so the four blues become negative, negative, negative. Now, those are your tiles. It's a miracle we actually got done. We're out of time, and that's it. Done. Does anyone know a good math joke? You're upset. Good evening. Oh, I was a little nervous about what my students are going to say about me. Didn't turn out too badly. Whew. What an honor it is to be celebrating this occasion with you. I am touched and almost speechless. <laughs> Teaching mathematics is an art. I like to teach a math concept and incorporate it into a project so my students can see its practical application. For example, in geometry, my students illustrate pointillism with pixels to show that nothing can mean something. How can that be? Why, that's just whack. In algebra, my students learn about slopes and intercepts of lines. You remember y equals mx plus b, don't you? <laughs> I love teaching the junior high. Having a positive rapport with my students is essential. I like sharing stories with my students about when I was their age. They always laugh at my junior high days. A special thank you to my daughters, Catherine Allison, to my friends, to my sister Jay and her family, and to my many co-workers at Central Kitsap Junior High School for being here with me tonight. Thank you. You make me tired after all that. Please. Seven years ago, we established the Stanley O. McNaughton Golden Apple Award. This award honors educators who inspire students to be successful in academic or vocational areas. The award is named for the late Stanley O. McNaughton, the former CEO of Pemco Insurance. Throughout a highly successful business career, McNaughton was first and foremost a teacher, a person who believes strongly in lifelong learning, long before the phrase was ever coined. His active support of the Golden Apple Awards contributed greatly to the growth and success of the awards. And now it's my pleasure to introduce this year's recipient. Principal Bill O'Donnell has seen many positive changes in his 16 years at A.J. West Elementary. A high poverty rate in Aberdeen and a growing Latino population required an innovative plan to meet students' needs. His supportive can-do style was a hit with staff and together they created a school where students always come first. Bill became bilingual and encouraged teachers to learn Spanish. Good idea. They extended the school calendar, started a popular after-school homework club, and made their full-day kindergarten free for all families. They made these changes because Bill and his staff believed that every child can succeed with a little love, a lot of respect, and of course, a few snacks. Hi, Pasquale. Which kind do you want? Good morning, Kimberly. Good morning, Ms. Fear. What would you like? That kind? 80% of our families qualify for a free and reduced lunch. And so all of the concerns that come from having high poverty come with those kids to school every day. And we have an increasing number of students that are non-English speaking. 20% of our students are ELL students and 26% of our students are now Hispanic. Buenos dias, Luis. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. One of the challenges we face is how do we change what we do at AJ West to, to get those kids ready to live in our community. Part of the upper Asian. Mm -hmm. Okay, make good choices. Because our kids oftentimes don't come in with a lot of readiness skills. Are you ready? Our staff looked at how we were providing services, especially with kindergarten. Good morning. And so we decided that we would take the money we get for Title I and center that on all day kindergarten. And now our whole district has it because it's proven to be a, a very beneficial program. Hey Christian, good morning. He's kind and thoughtful of others, he's compassionate. He really sees the needs of the students as the number one thing in our school. Chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. You got it. We have to meet their human needs first before we can get to them, get to their minds. So we want to be sure that they have something to eat and they feel safe and secure, and then we can teach them. What is five times eight? 
we have a program after school called Power Hour, where we have students from Grace Harbor College and from Aberdeen High School that work with our students to help them get their homework done. So if we provided them with a place to get their homework done, then they would be more successful. And that's, you know, that's what Bill wants. He wants all of these kids to succeed, and he strongly believes they will. But we, as educators, have to provide some of that because it's not being provided elsewhere. These kids need to know that we care about them as people, not just as our students. A lot's happened in 16 years, yes. I've been very fortunate to have worked with a 